The eldest of Sarah Palin's five children pleaded not guilty to a felony charge after allegedly attacking his father. Track Palin's lawyer entered the plea on his behalf on Monday in response to a burglary charge, according to the Associated Press. The 28-year-old was not present at the hearing. He did, however, participate via phone. Palin's parents, Sarah and Todd Palin, were also absent, the publication noted. His trial has been set for the week of February 26. Track Palin was arrested after his mother, former Alaska governor, called authorities and reported that her son appeared to be on medication. She claimed he was freaking out. The Associated Press was able to obtain copies of the police affidavit, which stated that Todd Palin was bleeding from his head when authorities arrived on the scene. He alleged that the altercation began when Track Palin called about potentially picking up his truck from his parents' home in Wasilla, Alaska. Todd Palin told police he told his son not to come to the house. In response, Track Palin reportedly threatened to beat him up. After being threatened, Todd Palin told police he went to fetch his pistol to protect his family. Track Palin admitted to officers on the scene that had broken a window, disarmed his dad and took him to the ground. Officer Adam LaPointe noted in the affidavit that both Todd and Sarah Palin left their home when police arrived. The former politician was noticeably upset. Citing the documents, the Associated Press reported that Track Palin was unruly during his incident. He reportedly shouted at officers, called them peasants and moved around in a strange manner. Authorities took him into custody without incident though. The Palins filed a restraining order barring Track Palin from having contact with them and their children that still live at home. Speaking via phone, Todd Palin told the court,